the characters stayed pretty consistent, even though the circumstances around them changed quite a bit from draft one to draft, I think it was draft nine or ten, I think, that actually ended up being the shooting script, uh, from my memory of it. Now, you touched earlier about the first time that you were sitting in a theater with the final cuts of it, watching it. Tell us more yeah. about that and the feelings that you felt whenever you did see it come together. It was hard, man. Um, it was in December, uh, a while back, and I remember that because it was right before the holidays. Because I think, I think Slow might have even been going out of town, um, the sound designer. And so we did the final, he had done it, he had already mixed things together um, over three reels. And then we blocked out two days to put it all together, tweak it, and lock it, and wrap it down. And I remember, the thing was, like on the last day of production, there was uh, an emergency that I won't go into that just really kind of took my focus off of the fact that we had just wrapped production on a feature film that I'd put, you know, me and everyone else had put years of, of work and effort into. Point being, I wasn't able to enjoy that. Um, I was for a moment, but then like an hour later, like this thing happened and it was, it was just my, you know, uh, focus was gone. And there's all this other stuff I had to suddenly take care of. Um, so the end of production should have been this big climb to Mount Everest moment, and it wasn't. Uh, it really was when I was sitting there. It was just slow on myself in this darkened theater. Uh, Dave, the composer, came in a couple times during that span to, to kind of give his, his input on music cues and, and where stuff would go. And then we'd talk levels and stuff. But uh, on the final watch, he couldn't be there. He had to be somewhere else. So it was just, it was just slow on there. I remember I had a migraine on the second day. So I, was, I had sunglasses on for most of it. I was just like, you know, wanted to vomit. And But it's we had two days. Like, there was not... That's how long we had the theater for. We could not stretch it. You know, it had to get done that day, or else it wasn't happening. Um, well, at least not not during that period of time. You know. So when we wrapped it out, and then he's—I remember—he just looked at me. And he's like, "You ready to watch it?" And it's like, "Yeah." You know. Up until then, all I had ever seen of it were the pieces. I'd seen the dailies. I'd seen, uh, you know, I'd listened to Dave's music, and I'd, you know, I'd heard the audio. I'd, I'd listened to the sound effects that were being added in. You know, I saw Armin's digital effects. I saw, you know, Chris's makeup effects. Um, but it was all pieces, you know. Uh, the sound is what really makes everything a cohesive whole. You can have great visuals, and if the sound isn't good, it just, it, you reflexively, an audience rejects it. And, um... So I remember just sitting there, and, you know, it's a black, the movie starts with a black screen, and then the, you know, an opening credit comes up, and Dave's score is coming in. And there was this, that was the first real moment that anything really felt real, as far as getting, getting everything done, um, and actually fulfilling the promise that I felt I had made to everybody that that would be finished uh, to the best of my ability. And so I wasn't able to enjoy last day of production. I was able to at least for a couple hours, you know, uh, sit there and, and it was the first time I saw it as a cohesive movie. Um, so that was really kind of a, uh, like not life changing, but it was, it was a moment you carry with you. You know, it's something that I'll, I'll be 90 and assuming I'm not senile, I won't forget. Um, and it's really hard to put that into words, especially because I was physically, I was in so much pain and, and was all kind of loopy or whatever. But I was with it enough that I knew what was going on and I could, you know, I'd be like, nope, we got to change that, you know, uh, bring that level up. Um, but I'll always be grateful to, to Slow for putting that time in. And, um, you know, it, that was where it became a movie. That was where it became a movie.